oh my god. That's a, that is a great. Oh, I really like that. Ooh, that's cozy. Bear and breakfast. So what we got here? Apply. What do we have here? Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. <gasps> Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Oh. Hello? He is a bear. I can't move. Do not... I thought this was a nice game. Don't what? See? Cause that's already happening. Move! Can't do that either. Why is that not a move around? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, the way he moves. Nice. Ah! Find? Oh, I found it. You mean like an introspection thing? Sleep. Like the bed? I'll just take a nap in the death bed. How do I sleep in here? E to interact. Okay. Ah! Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. Oh my god. That's it, no more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank. Uh oh, better see what's up. Whoa! I'm a fucking bear. Oh, this is a wall. Oh. The hell? No, she! Who talked to me? Who was that? Someone spoke to me. I can't exit. Is there another area here? Can I go here? Chat, I'm blind. Left? What do you mean left? Oh my god, is this a door? No, wait, what? Door on the left? Holy fuck, this is a door! Jesus! Okay. Oh my god! What the fuck? I'm up, I'm up! Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see our nation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that. Every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, oh, I'm uh, Where's Annie? Oh, in a room with Will. Probably I should go wake him up. All right, honey. Uh, okay. Okay. A lot of stuff blends in. Maybe these doors are open now. Ah, who the fuck is this? Good, get out, morning. Ow, that's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. What the fuck is Will, a pigeon? I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean I could sell a melon a mile away? 
light bulb, both of you. Uh, what's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What I tell you, I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do some fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on the side now. It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. Why warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies? Oh my god. Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Oh shit, yeah, that's a cozy ass house. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a fucking nice ass house, dude. That looks nice. Alright. It is beautiful. Hey, yo, what up? Hey, ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Miss M. Ma'am, did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hole to Black Moss. What? I said I... I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. I mean, adventure, adventure. Anyways, Hank, you're in charge of this operation here. This is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. But don't lose it again. I won't, he will. You're getting that bundle and straight back. No one step further than the swamp. Yes. You just got the notebook, which is uh, a collectible. Okay. Okay, I see the yellow. I wonder if they're gonna come with me. You have trouble falling asleep? I'm just reading my book. Guess my brain would rather shut off than read another word. Ha ha. All right. I see another thing I can interact with, but I'm just gonna go. Okay. Past the fence. Into this area. The three fr friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie the Carolean dog, brave but clumsy, Will the poor Will, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even more so on the inside, and Hank the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. Black Moss. All right, gang, spread out. Find some alligator weed. Okay. We are looking for... I found it. Tire screech? Uh-oh. What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go, but we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see what that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Oh, God. No, guys. They're going to fucking grab you. Uh-oh. Guys? <gasps> Wait. Oh. This game was not what I was expecting it to be. Maybe it changes. Investigate the loud noise. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded me of Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little card had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab our computer by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello, be part of the next exciting experience. Tyson Escape Electrifying Enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? 
I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-whatever. What the offering secured tourist tree adjacent goods? Bring in your old useless priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything expensive or heirloom. All right, this is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. And they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you are, you are a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a pond voyage premium premises. I was wondering, boop. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard the shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was the humans, well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means with your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things? With the adventure mode menu, you have two additional options. Okay. Press the green button. Bro, just start the fucking game. Go to Sawdust through Timber Crossing. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. By God, a bear! Is it just me, Sir Hank, for the ticket? Uh, oh goodness, you can talk. Imagine if I read that whole thing. That would have been an hour. Get five plywood planks for, uh, for Tony. Okay. Is all this shit marked plywood? I think it is. Okay. Okay. We got him some plywood. Got it right here. There's a no dialogue option in the settings. I don't know, man. Unless this is like the fucking plot of motherfucking... Are you... You're lying. Where? Lies. If this isn't... If the, unless this is like the plot of a fucking AAA game, I don't give a fuck. I just want to play these games for the gameplay. There's no way this game's dialogue is going to make me think the game's better. All These type of games, it's all about the gameplay. No one gives a fuck about the story. Fucking asshole. Acting like this story about a bear is gonna change your life. Meet Tony back in Timber Crossing. Oh wait, shit. Oh, he's right here. All of that is wonderful, and we're gonna use this old shed. Ok, 
Okay. Clean up the shed. Clean up the debris. Okay. We're gonna use this shed. Okay. Did you clean up the shed? Yep. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. You can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank, grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Repairable object. You can repair various objects in the world by gathering the required material. Okay. All right. Okay. That's repaired. Cannot be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Did you get the workbench fixed? Yep. It's good enough. Thanks. Okay, so we have a workbench, a shed, and a forest, and he's working. Was that the fireplace? What did he just do? Baby's first building. Excuse me, you have plenty of time to get better. Now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things that I'll do. Bed. Go make one at the workbench. Dinky shed. Use the workbench. Craft a... Oh, it's right here. Build a room. Crafting. Oh, whoa. Plywood and a cotton sheet. Okay. Done. Were you able to make the bed? Yep. I didn't think it would it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine. That's just sad. Hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Comfort. Bedroom. 60. Two by three. I'll do a three by three instead. Can I rotate? Oh, I can. Can you just click this? No. Cost at 90. Oh. Okay. So we're about to make a room? Really, I was preferred to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now this is the most part step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can uh, look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that'll tell them where to go and a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Here's how you make it quite straightforward. Okay, placing objects. Use it, craft a front desk. Okay. A front desk. Okay. And... Okay. Sure. Did you place the front desk? Yep. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are you even gonna like it? Sure know how to make it take a call I start thank you, thank you. Sorry, go talk to the sharky boy. Tell him uh, we got his joint ready. Wait, so I'm a bear building houses or something for humans? Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Press the green button. Congratulations, you're providing all this on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and emotional on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines, mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals like. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified heartbringers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was his mama was said, keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, you're bringing right Elizabeth on the network. You can now start earning hardly a life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Guest management. Okay. Oh, it's Will. <laughs> he looks funny. 
Wait, did I place this the wrong way? Dinky Shed. Active guests, zero. Guest requests, Myra Forbes. Comfort decoration. Accept, assign. Done. Let me move this shit over. Can I fit? Or is, am I too fat? Fuck! There you go. Nice. Alright, let's see. Oh, show walls. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh, shit. Not to lose all the year. Grab it over there. Press the green button. I got a human. Crash it. You're now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you're much, much closer to financial ruin, but you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you'll keep... You keep up with guest demands as the time become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Okay. All right. Alert, it looks like your pre-roll is locking on the old P department. Hey, I don't... Prestige. That means the circulation of your property are up to our low, low standards. It's ugly, but it looks like your room. All right, shop where uh, look at our guests. Just make your property more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Okay. So, if I go here and look at my prestige level. Resort decoration, perfect reviews. Is she actually here yet? Guest reviews, dinky shed. I think this is the prestige level, maybe. Prestige level 1, 2 of 15. Increased decorations. Okay. Oh, it said arrives tomorrow. Let me see. Can I craft anything? Inventory crafting, build room, hide walls, floor up. Oh, nice. Uh, can I craft anything else? Decorations. Lights, wall decorations. Furniture items. Oh, this is my inventory here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Valuables, coins. Oh, I have literally nothing. Huh. Okay. Oh, quests. Remember the old dumpster in the north of Timber Crossing? Oh, true. How big is this place? The map doesn't work? Oh, this place is actually huge. Okay, find a snack for Took. I can't open this yet. Uh, I gotta go find him a snack. Hold up. I'm just gonna grab everything. Who's this guy? Hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I haven't seen your legs around my bus before. I know you're, I like your hair. So, I have three quests right now. Hold up. Find a sandwich for Took. Is this saying the quest is in this area or the sandwich is also in this area? Uh... There must be something around here. Looks like nice wood. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, so there was something in the area. Give Beanie the envelope from Oliver. Nice. Okay, so I have to, uh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. This, this is uh, his uh, fucking shit. Let's do the bear painting. A rug. Oil wall lamp. Old drawers. Oil lamp. And a welcome mat. And, uh, do do do. A flower vase. There you go. I just spent a shit ton. Okay. Uh, talk to Tony about the little travel kiosk. Give Beanie the envelope from Oliver. Get the Dinky Shed Prestige to two. go talk to Tony and also uh, add stuff. I think I, I mean, let me add stuff first. See what happens. So, inventory. I wonder if you can see the prestige go up. Oh, you can. Alright. Oh, this is the biggest fucking, holy shit, it's huge. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. All right. Okay. I can't lower it so you don't see the door. I guess the door's always there. The door's annoying then. Let's do this instead so we can see. Okay. And uh, how about we put a flower vase here with an oil lamp that I can't put down. Welcome right here. A uh, nice small bear painting above the bed. Looks good. And then, I guess, put this here, even though it looks fucking weird. I don't know why this doesn't go here. I can't tell if that's backwards. Sure. Level two prestige, I did it. Wait, was that a wall lamp or a lamp? Oil wall lamp. Oh. How does this look? Oh. I don't know, why doesn't it go here? I guess you have to, oh wait, do you have to rotate it? Okay. There you go. Nice. Clear the debris, give Beanie, uh... oh wait, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, get a book on spelling from the thicket, an old computer, get a pen on a string. Okay, um, fetch quest three ways. Let's see. 
get a book from spelling. Wait, what's over here? Zoom the map out. Only a couple of things were marked. Spelling from the thicket. Yeah, it looks like I just walked in and stole that. Who, what's this guy's name again? I gotta figure out who Beanie is. What is this? Oh. Yeah, I gotta find out who that is. It'd be nice if I could open the map. There must be a button. the stay for plus two guests in timber crossing okay i need to figure out where the fuck beanie is the best way to find out is to make your way to sawdust and hand it over okay where the fuck is sawdust Where does this lead? Pinefall? <laughs> Not going through here anytime soon. left of the hotel. I wonder if every place to go is on the road. Like everywhere I need to go, just follow the road. A24? Yeah, I don't know. Is there like a path around here? Oh. Oh, I went through sawdust initially. Oh! I mean, this game's pretty cool. All yours though, chat.